Did DJI just accidentally release an off-the-shelf BB Lost Ready drone with 4G connectivity, increased reliability, and a dock? This may very well be the drone that changes the industry forever. Hey guys, Dylan here. If you don't know who I am, I've been in the drone industry for the last nine years. I consider myself kind of an enthusiast in this industry. I want to make this video today for some first reaction of the new M30 drone that just got announced by DJI. Before we start the video, I just want to make a little shout out to a brand new platform that I just released called Pilot Byte. Pilot Byte is the home for drone enthusiasts, drone professionals, people that are getting into the drone industry where we have news articles, blog posts, case studies, courses in the drone world that I'm still working on and a whole multitude of other things. So if you're interested, please take a look down in the description below, pilotbyte.com. First of all, let's talk about the new drones that DJI announced at their event. There's two new versions of their DJI Matrice 30 series drone. There's the M30 and the M30T. The only difference between these drones is the camera payload. Now, both of them have the same payloads except for one additional camera on the M30T, and that is the thermal camera. So let's go ahead and go through the list of what both camera systems provide. You're gonna get a laser range finder, which is gonna detect range between three and 1200 meters. You're also gonna get a 12 megapixel wide angle lens. And for the third sensor that you're gonna get on there, you're gonna get a 48 megapixel 16X optical zoom that has the ability to go up to a 200X max hybrid zoom to produce insane quality of detail from far away. It's, it's insane what that camera could do. And again, if you get the M30T variant, you're gonna get a thermal camera which has a resolution of 640 by 512, so standard thermal camera that most every other drone in the industry has as well. When it comes to the battery life and the weight of the drone, oh my God, is it impressive. This drone weighs just a little over eight pounds and comes in at about 41 minutes of flight time with hot swappable batteries, so, You'll be able to fly basically all day long without even having any downtime. And again, when it comes to the weight and size of the drone, it takes from its little brother, the Mavic series drones, where this thing folds up and you can literally throw it into a backpack and take it anywhere. Throw it in a car, throw it in a backpack, throw it in a case, whatever. This drone is so small that you can just take it anywhere you want. Now the reason why I say that this is a BB loss ready drone is, well, the redundancy and reliability that they built into this drone. Not only did they increase the antenna count on the drone, they also enhanced their OcuSync 3 to an enterprise edition for their transmission system. They added six pairs of vision sensors for collision avoidance as well. Probably one of the most important features that they added to this for its reliability and for the BB loss specifically is their 4G module that you can add into the drone. So you can basically operate this drone anywhere in the world without even having to physically be there, which is <laughs> incredible. To go along with how rugged and impressive this drone is, it has an IP55 rating, which will allow it to fly in heavy downpour rain, extremely windy conditions, dust, dirt, rain, shine, anything. Alongside the new development of the M30 series drone, they also developed their new smart remote, which also comes with their new Pilot 2 app. And this smart remote also comes with a lot of impressive features. It has an extended increased battery life where it also has a hot swappable feature so the controller can stay on while you're swapping out batteries. Additionally, it also has that 4G module just like the drone so that you can control the drone or you can tag team it with a bunch of other people out in the field, which is incredible. And this controller is also IP54 rated, so water and dust resistant, perfect for rough conditions that you're gonna be flying in. Now let's talk about the DJI Flight Hub 2. This is DJI's brand new flight operations software. It is an all-in-one cloud rich feature platform that will allow you to collaborate with people out in the field. This is really made for the first responders, the policemen, the firefighters, people that are going to be collaborating as a team, assessing a situation very quickly, effectively, working together where they can see what's happening on their phone with data that is streamed live from the drones, from other drones, other enterprise drones as well. Alongside with that, you also get the ability to control the DJI dock, which we'll get into very shortly. Very excited about that. But yeah, DJI Flight Hub 2 is just a completely overhauled system compared to their first Flight Hub with a lot of new features, a lot of cloud capabilities, collaboration, just overhauled system that they did. And I think they did an incredible job and you can get a free beta of it today 
to test out with the M300 that it also supports. Now let's talk about probably my favorite announcement from the DJI event, and it's the DJI Dock. This robotic docking station has some very cool tech built into it. A little high level overview of what the DJI Dock has and its kind of its capabilities. Well, it comes with a little weather station so that you always know what kind of conditions are before the drone takes off. It also has a little security camera built onto it so that you can see when the drone takes off and when it lands. Very cool. You can schedule and automate a bunch of tasks from the dock itself. It also has a cloud management system built into it where you can send off images and videos to whoever, wherever in the world, which is amazing, especially when you're doing redundant tasks all the time, say oil fields or crop monitoring or property management. Probably best of all it is it's fast charging. You can go from 10 to 90% in 25 minutes and get back up in the air. That is absolutely impressive, especially for a docking system where typically you'd have to pop out the batteries, put it back in, wait for the drone to reconnect, where this just does it for you. Now, some of the safety and redundancy features built into it, well, it has an RTK module, which acts kind of like the DRTK2 if you've ever used something like that before. Essentially, it helps kind of triangulate the drone where it is and give it very precision accurate flying wherever it is. On top of that, it also has a 4G module as well, just like the drone and the smart controller, so you can operate this drone remotely anywhere in the world and send data anywhere in the world as well. Now I'm gonna put kind of my own opinion on this, and honestly, I'm stoked for this thing. I've been conceptualizing something like this for years, especially for my clients. We do a lot of redundant flights. We have a lot of automated missions that we were flying all over the place. I mean, just last year in six months, we flew 2,000 properties. And our clients are consistently asking for more and more from us, especially when it comes to the aerial intelligence side of things, where a drone like this, where you can have that zoom capability, you can have a wide angle, you can have the thermal capabilities, you can even have the laser, laser range finder in there to figure out where things are on a property. I think this thing is perfect. I know there's some other solutions out there right now, but I don't even think they're gonna to compare to what DJI is able to put out. Now, the only caveat to this is it's gonna take a lot of jobs away from pilots, but it's also going to create innovation between pilots and manufacturers and other companies. So overall, I think the DJI Dock is such a great addition, especially from a company like DJI, who is a reputable brand and can output quality products. I think they're the perfect one to do this on a mass production. So overall, this was a, such a great announcement from DJI. They're new M30 series drones with all of their brand new camera capabilities and the redundancy and their BV loss ready to fly drones. Excellent. DJI Dock, I'm stoked for. Cannot wait to get my hands on it. Hopefully I can get it a little bit sooner before Q4 of this year. I'm really gonna try that and definitely put a video out on that. And DJI Flight Hub 2, I think it's a great product. I think it's gonna be solid and I think it's gonna suit the needs of basically anybody in the industry that's looking to have an all-in-one solution, cloud-based solution uh, platform like Flight Hub 2. If you've enjoyed this format of video in terms of kind of putting out news in my perspective, drop a like, drop a comment, love to have some conversation with you down below and kind of what your thoughts are on the DJI Dock and that new M30 drone. If you like this video and want to see more from me in the future, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.